This video tutorial will show you how to use an outline template made with OpenOffice to format a file, an outline that you have already made using another editing software. Okay, so for example, if you've already made your outline in Hangul, uh, you could copying it here into this template and then use this formatting to format the file that you've already made. Now, when you do this, there's one thing to be careful about. Every time you copy some material from another file, this content has already been formatted and by copying, it also copies the format so that when you paste into the second file, it will combine the formatting of the first file with the second file and this can make a big mess. So to avoid this, what you can do is after you copy some content from the Hangul file, for example, you should paste it into a memojang, a note file, uh, which will remove all the format because there is no formatting in this file. And then you copy from here into the OpenOffice file and then the unformatted content here will be formatted with the format of this file. Okay, so if we try to do this uh, more step by step, uh, so first you could use the template formatting here to include your name, so you can write your name instead of this, you can write your student number to replace this content here, and so on. Okay, same with the essay title. Uh, for the thesis statement, if you already have it in your original file, you can copy, uh, like for example, it's here in the introduction, so you can copy this sentence here, paste it into the notepad here, and then paste it over, or oh, actually paste it here after thesis statement. Okay, uh, so that should be easy if you go sentence by sentence. Uh, now, if you want to save a little bit of time with the copy and paste, for the body of the essay, what you can do is copy the whole part of the body here and this is what I'll do now. So starting with section 2, which is where the body of the outline starts, and going down all the way to the conclusion, but stopping before the conclusion. So I copy this part, then I paste it in the note file here, I copy it from here, and then I paste it over the content of the outline. Okay, notice I start here not including this. Actually, I cannot use this because it's not part of the content. It's part of the formatting. So now I press paste. And then you'll notice you'll have all these big Roman numbers. That's because every line here is, they're all set up on the same indent. Okay, like the section numbers, which are Roman numbers. Uh, but we'll have to change this now. Uh, so notice here we have section 1 introduction, section 2 that's the first section of the body and here this number 2 has been copied from here and it was actually copied from our original file here. Uh, so now what we have to do is check if all these numbering are matching. If they're matching like here that means it's okay, we have the right one in the formatting. So we can click here and just delete to remove the one well, that number Roman number two that we copied from the original file. If we go to the next line, we notice here that our original numbering here was A in the previous file, but now we have a three uh, because it's all at the same level. So that means we have to move uh, by indenting one way to the right. Uh, so to do this, you press tab one time and notice how it's moved the indent. And then now you have the A that is the formatting of this file. And it's matching AA, so we can remove this one that we copied from the original file. Okay, if we continue like this, the next line, we have a number one which should be indented below the A. Uh, so that means here we have to move to the right two times. So we press tab, one, two, and we have that number one under the A with the indent here. Okay, and notice the number one is in line with the text from the line above. Uh, so now we have one one. We can delete the one that we copied from the original file. 
and okay one more next line this one here we have a smaller detail a which should be below the one but indented so here we press tab until it is set at the right place so one two three so now we have the a which is below the one and the a is in line with the text here a a so we can delete the one that we had from the original file Okay, I'll do just one more. Uh, here we have a number two, which should be in line with that number one. So we press tab, one, two, and then one and two are in line. And we have two, two. So we can delete the number two from the original file. So you can go through the whole body of the outline like this until it matches the content of your original outline. And then you can be sure that the indents are all set up properly because those are made from the formatting of this file, which was set up properly. Okay, so this is for the outline. Uh, when you get to the part to do uh, the annotated bibliography, again, you can copy the whole part of the bibliography from the original file, paste into the note here, copy from the note, and then paste it over the part of the annotated bibliography here. Uh, you may have some small adjustment to make, especially if some content was not properly formatted in the original file that you had. But also notice that, uh, for example, here there is italic. Uh, the italic will have been removed when you copied into this note here. So you will have to add the italic again. And also you'll have to check to make sure that each single entry starts with the name of the author in a hanging indent here okay and then the following lines of this entry will be indented properly uh, something could be wrong here if especially you press enter at the end of the line of your uh, entry when you made it in the original outline so double check the formatting uh, to make sure that it is set properly uh, one last thing here also we have to talk about is the numbering that you can see here. Uh, in this uh, heading here, uh, you can change the name to put your own name, which should be your family name. Uh, so if your family name is Kim, for example, you can type Kim here. And don't change the number. This one is set automatically because this is page 3 in this outline. Uh, if we go up to page two you'll see it's Kim now so the software will change the name uh, to be the same everywhere so you change it in one place all the other places will be changed automatically okay and then numbering is also automatic uh, notice there's no number one because we don't put the page number on the cover page okay so then now your outline should be complete all you have to do after this especially if you're using open office uh, if you want to have the PDF file to send it to me, then all you have to do is click on PDF here and you'll be able to have your PDF file ready to be sent and submit to get graded. So this is how to use uh, the template to you convert your original file made into an editor uh, into uh, a properly formatted outline here.